This is kind of crazy. Um, tonight is the NHL entry level draft and it's in Montreal. And I tried to get tickets via pre sale. It didn't really work out. They were all sold out immediately. And every day since then, I try to get tickets, go on Ticketmaster every single day to see if tickets were available. No tickets were available until today. I went on Ticketmaster this morning and one ticket was available. Then two tickets were available for like the media section where you can't get tickets. And then what happened, there were tickets available in the red section at the Bell Center, but they were already sold, sold out. And 20 minutes later, I think, I go back, I see two tickets available in the red section. And I just went for it and I fucking got the tickets, baby. So tonight, I'm going to be at the Bell Center at the NHL Entry Level Draft live. And this is crazy. It's in Montreal. Montreal have the first overall pick. And there's a lot of controversy. Are the Montreal Canadiens going to select Shane Wright? Or you have Slikovsky or Logan Cooley? These are the three best prospects in the draft and Montreal has the first overall pick. And there are rumors of the Devils who have the second overall pick trading the pick to Arizona or Montreal. They have another pick in the first round trading it to Ottawa to get the sec seventh overall pick. There's a lot of rumors and we just got a signature and a trade before the draft. Chris Letang, six years, $6.1 million per year with the Pittsburgh Penguins. And the New York Rangers traded Alexander Yurgiev to the Colorado Avalanche, which means Darcy Kemper will not be back in Colorado. Anyway, too much hockey talk, but I am heading to the Bell Center tonight around 4.30 p.m. and... It's going to be insane, but yeah, uh, leaving in like three to four hours and yep, can't wait to get to the fucking Bell Center. So we are in Montreal in the parking lot, underground parking lot and heading close to the draft. The doors are already open and we are heading outside or somewhere to eat so yep brought my jersey and let's go outside heading to the bell center for the draft a lot of people here right now and yep i'll film more there So we're here at the draft, I mean, oh. starting in 30 minutes, god I can't wait.
队参加的，说大家吃。参加，我带我到西部去参加了，也是被不准的，把我给我，他可能在这。马丹，同班，是李丹的朋友。The big is Oh my god. Montreal are going to announce their first overall pick in a few seconds. God. The fucking big. With our first pick in the 2022 NHL draft, the Canadian of Montreal, Seattle, with the Repeche, with the Slovakian. Oh my God! What? Holy shit! Slovakian player. Oh my god. 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 You have Stefkowski, holy fucking shit. Jersey Devil with the next pick, probably Shane Wright or Logan Cool. Seattle, Seattle, oh my god. What the 
fun. Two trades. Oh! Holy shit! A trade! A trade! So it's 2 a.m. We got back home. We left at like 11.30 p.m. 
and we arrived at like almost 1 a.m. A lot of traffic, but still, we watched the first four picks of the draft on TV because I recorded it. And oh my god, I was there in person. This was fucking crazy, insane, amazing, an incredible experience. Like I said, I got these tickets last minute today and I went to the NHL draft and just an incredible show. Gary Bettman got booed a lot. We booed him. I was there. But at a point, it was just really a lot. And Gary Bettman was just talking back to people in the audience. And first overall pick, Zhukov Slavkovsky, the Slovakian winger. I mean, I'm not surprised, but surprised at the same time of this pick but i'm still really really happy that montreal got him i was gonna be happy no matter if montreal got him cooley or right and we got slavkovsky and i'm pretty happy and stoked about it at least the fans had a good reaction to the selection but i watched the clips back the people behind me were really like pissed like someone had both of his hands at the back of his head. There was a stupid Leafs fan in the back being super happy. Like, haha, Montreal did the worst pick. Haha, they're dumb. This Leafs fan was annoying. And when we got to the Leafs pick, but they decided to trade it to do a salary dump. He was like, yeah, we're winning the cup. Shut the fuck up. Blah, blah, blah. Just being a delusional, arrogant imbecile. And uh, yeah, also Simon Nemec to the New Jersey Devils, second overall pick. This is what shocked me the most. I was like, the Devils, are they really gonna select Shane Wright? They have so many centers and they need to build the blue line. And there were rumors of the Devils training the, their pick. And I was genuinely shocked that they did not pick Shane Wright or that they didn't trade the pick and they took Simon Nemec. That was fucking crazy. I was freaking out and I watched it back on TV when I got back home and New Jersey said, oh, we were trying to trade the pick, but we just decided, you know, to just keep it and draft him. Then the Arizona Coyotes select Logan Cooley before Shane Wright. So Shane Wright is not even top three. He's not even in the top three. The two first players that were drafted are from Slovakia and they played in the same team. And it's Logan Cooley, third overall, the pick that the Coyotes wanted all along. And then right after that, a fucking trade. Two trades by the Montreal Canadiens. This was insane. Romanov to the New York Islanders for the 13th overall pick. I was freaking out. My mom was freaking out. A lot of people were freaking out. A fan favorite for the fans. And then the 13th overall pick gets traded to the Chicago Blackhawks for Kirby Doc. Kirby fucking Doc. A former third overall pick from the Chicago Blackhawks. He's younger than Nick Suzuki. And he's already NHL ready. That's fucking crazy. We had to sacrifice Romanov to get Kirby Doc. It sucks that Romanov is no longer an abs. But we have Kirby Doc. We have Nick Suzuki and Kirby Doc as our two centers for the, for the next few years in Montreal. Which is pretty exciting. And then Shane Wright. Fourth overall to the Seattle Kraken. And... It really hurt his ego a lot. And Kent Huge said in an interview that we love that Slav Slavkovsky has a lot of charisma or personality, but isn't arrogant about it. But yeah, a few shots to Shane Wright. But Shane Wright is pissed and he wants to do a major payback to the Montreal Canadiens. So I'm pretty sure he's going to start the season in Seattle and 
try to hunt the Montreal Canadiens, haunt them. And yep, the rest of the night was insane. A lot of steals. Like I'm not gonna go into full details because I've been filming a lot right now, but Joachim Kemmel to the Nashville Predators, what a steal. Isaac Howard to the Tampa Bay Lightning, a steal. Brad Lambert to the Jets, a steal. Who else? Leki Rimaki man to the Vancouver Canucks, a steal. And God, just it was just a lot. I a lot of shocking moves. Also, just the Blackhawks from a zero picks in the first round to making a trade with Ottawa, the Brinkett to the Ottawa Senators, then trading Kirby Doc for the 13th overall pick to Montreal. And then they got the first round pick to, from Toronto for Peter Mrazik. An insane night. A lot of special guests. Serge Savard, Chris Letang, Martin Brodeur. Mason McTavish was there for some reason. Uh, I recognized almost everyone. And when we left the Bell Center, we were walking next to a lot of scouting people from the league. And I just realized that we were walking next to the general manager of the Dallas Stars, Jim Neal with his little suitcase with him. Just crazy night. Insane. Great experience. And I don't know when or if there will be another NHL draft when I'm alive or whatsoever, but I'll be definitely going back. But truly an historic night. Slavkovsky. And also, uh, what's his name? A teammate of Slavkovsky selected by the Montreal Canadiens to uh, miss our welcome to Montreal. And yep, I'm going to end this video right here. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on my social medias in the description down below. And you can turn on the bell for notifications when I post. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.